Pocket operators. I have spoken a lot about pocket operators recently and talked about how I have come round in my perception of them as being something a bit more useful for actually making quote unquote serious music as opposed to just being wee toys that you fiddle about with. However, if you do want to use them for something a bit more involved than you know just playing about with on YouTube. Which is fine, by the way, you know, that's, that's a perfectly legitimate way to use them. But if you want to take them out and about, you're probably going to want some more protection. Because even though the design itself is, you know, meant to facilitate the whole thing being affordable, because it's just, you know, a PCB with some buttons and stuff stuck on it, it isn't necessarily all that robust. And if you do just chuck it in your bag along with keys or something, then it's inevitable that your screen will be smashed or uh, things will get pretty grimy pretty quickly. So there's a whole bunch of different options for cases and for protecting your pocket operators if you do want to take them out and about or use them you know, outside of your house and you have to transport them in some way. And so I thought I would go through a bunch of them in this video because I've tried out a whole bunch of different cases and there seems to be some that are more accessible and more widely available than others and whilst lots of people have done lots of cool things eh, these ones are some of the ones I found that are worth talking about. So a eh, quick first point if you just want a case to put your pocket operator in and you don't really care about it being in like an actual case the whole time. You just want some for transporting it. There's a whole bunch of options, including these like dirt sheep, Whee! including these dirt sheep um, plastic, I think they're called survival boxes or something like that. You can get them from China for like three pounds. So these are a good option. Um, they're quite chunky, but you know, do the job for if you just want to protect the thing from getting trashed in your bag. However, I'm not going to talk about lots of different cases like this because there's like a myriad of different possibilities, phone cases and things like that, if you just want like this kind of protection. However, I'm going to be looking at cases which are designed specifically for the pocket operator and that'll include some kind of, you know, DIY efforts from people that are 3D printed and some more top of the range kind of expensive things. And with that in mind, the first one eh, I want to talk about is this one. And it's the MPOXS. And this one came from a company or a group called Beatmakers Boutique in America. And by all accounts, this is the granddaddy of all pocket operator cases. It is very expensive. Uh, when they first came out, the first version of this, I think, was about $120. So I can hear the intake of breath, even as I say that. But $120, and then the follow-up one, which I believe this one is, was $60. So even then, it's still quite expensive. That's like £40, £50. And the original was something like £90, if you're going by, you know, the great British currency, rather than those dirty American fiends in there dirty money. But what to say about this specifically, this is undeniably the best pocket operator case out there. It's perfectly moulded to the PO. On the back it's this hard plastic. Uh, you can see that the battery contacts, um, or sorry, the battery, uh, the place you put the battery has got a space so you can easily change it out without having to go in and take the case apart, which is nice. The back is this hard plastic, and the whole rest of it actually is um, a kind of silicon, which you can see there, it's really easy to take off. Um, the buttons are the nicest part about this though, because they are so soft and just feel so nice to use. It's It makes a huge difference. A lot of other cases lose some of the tactility that you get with the pocket operators, which is quite a shame, but this case just feels fantastic and of course you know you're paying for the pleasure though because of the high cost what i would say though is there's a few downsides to this first of all there's no screen protection so even though it's kind of beveled and will be protected against you know impact or whatever it doesn't have in on top of the screen like there's no glass or plastic in there preventing you from stabbing this with a pencil or something by accident so that's something to bear in mind if you're concerned about the screen. The thing to say about this is they're quite hard to find now. They were like limited edition. And if you do find them, then people are like scraping 
the barrel, <laughs> trying to get as much money out of people as possible because they are going, I saw them going for like £100 up to £200 on eBay, which is just a fucking crazy price. That's like the price of like four pocket operators. So whilst this is undeniably the best pocket operator case I've found, it's very pricey and you know if you can get one cheap which is unlikely then go for it or if you're only using you know one pocket operator like the PO33 then you know that's probably the one to go for if you want to actually invest some cash in a very nice case of course it is designed to look like an old Akai thing as well which is really cool but this is one of the few cases that actually improves upon the usability of the buttons and stuff themselves. You can still see the lights and everything, and there's a nice silicon cover for the knob as well, which makes it a bit better to use. Uh, it is quite a chunky beast though, so it's not quite as portable as some of the other options. If you are a reasonable human being and you don't want to spend £100 on a case for your pocket operators, or maybe you've got a bunch of them and you want to get a nice case and you like the look of the Akai styled case, but you don't want to spend that much money, which, you know, <laughs> who, bl who would blame you, then there is an alternative. And there's a guy who runs a company called SpillerPhoto.com and he does his own versions of these cases. And he has a whole bunch of different designs, and these are just a couple of them. I might be able to squeeze in a couple more. Uh, we have a Commodore 64 styled one here, POC 64. We have another thing, I don't know what this is based on, I should know this, but it's a PO 1200. And we've got this POC 60, which is also um, des you know, designed to look like the original Akai and PC 60, I guess. I guess they're not allowed to say that. But we also have some other options here, like this PODMX, which is quite nice. But I'll just focus on one of them, so it's easier to talk about. Um, the POC60, by far, is the nicest one I think that he's got. It has all these different designs, and you can customise things like choose which you know button colour you want to go where, etc. But this one, the POC60, is I think one of the you know most robust. It is 3D printed, so you get the usual kind of imperfections with 3D printing that you would expect. However, it's very nicely designed, and the buttons on this one are much larger and use a soft kind of filament, if that's the correct word, for the 3D print, which makes it just nice to use. Um, it's not as nice to use as the silicone buttons on the Beatmaker Boutique one, I have to say, uh, but the price of these is markedly different. For each one, we're talking in the region of about £20 shipped, which is just, you know, com it's just a bargain when you consider what you're getting. So the value for money on these cases from Spiller Photo is just, you know, second to none. Uh, the one thing I would say about these is that the tolerances on the measurements and how the pocket operators fit into them are quite tight. So like the Beatmaker's Boutique case, you have to snap off the the top ring thing that you can, uh, can hang the pocket operator on and that's kind of standard for a lot of these cases. But on this one, you do have to make sure it's quite clean off or it's quite far down. So you can't just snap it off and leave the wee nubs there. You really have to kind of file them down a bit to make sure it all fits in place and I did have some issues with the buttons on this one initially there was like a bed of uh, let me see if I can find it I uh, initially there was kind of a, a bed of buttons here which were all tied together and it just didn't quite you know they didn't feel right when they were in here but the guy who runs spillerphoto.com is really nice and he replies quickly if you've got any issues and he's updating the designs all the time so uh, that's a good option the only other one i want to comment on though is maybe this one which is the monolith slim and this is a really nice case but i did also have a wee bit of trouble with the holes for the um, buttons here they weren't quite they were too tight so i had to can I file them down a wee bit so that the buttons would actually press nicely. But if you're looking for a nice case for your pocket operators, which has got a cool design, eh, and you don't want to spend as much as you would on the Beatmakers Boutique ones, I highly recommend Spiller Photo cases because they're just brilliant. Like they really are so nicely made for you know the amount of money you're spending. 
One notable thing about the Spiller photo cases actually is because of the customization, you can get, um, you can choose whether or not you want the battery cover to be exposed. So on a bunch of them, they actually have an option to keep the battery cover uh, like enclosed, which uh, might be good if you have a kind of dodgy clip or whatever, and you want to have that bit of extra security for your batteries in case they fall out. And to be honest, I get the idea of why you would want the back to be open so you could change the batteries quite easily. But I mean, you don't have to change the batteries in the pocket operators too often. So I don't know if it's as big a deal as it could be. For assembly, these things require you to put the individual buttons in place yourself, which can be a wee bit fiddly. And to be honest, these were the most fiddly of all the cases I tried, but they are definitely one of the nicest for some of the cheapest uh, amount of moolah. The next case to talk about is this thing that comes from someone called Pavel X Powers on Instagram. If you look them up on eBay, they come from Russia and they make a whole bunch of different uh, accessories and faceplates and things for devices like the SP404, uh, you know, the Akai MPC1 and stuff like that. But they also make these nice pocket operator cases. It is a fully enclosed acrylic shell and I'm showing you the light there because if you look on the front, it actually encloses the screen as well, which is quite unusual and it gives you a bit of extra protection and peace of mind. So this is one of the most secure cases in terms of, you know, protection for the device itself because all of the other options that I've seen don't have that kind of plastic cover on uh, over the display. So that's a nice feature of this one. It also has, you know, the exposed battery contacts at the back to make it a bit easier to change the batteries, similar to the rest of them. The thing I really like about this case though is the buttons. And the problem with a lot of these cases is that the buttons lose some of their tactility and you might not be able to see the LEDs and stuff as well through them. But these buttons are really thick and stand out quite uh, far from the case itself, which means that they just feel great. Some of the buttons on other cases just kind of feel a bit wobbly and weird, but these are just like very pleasant and satisfying to use. So that's a big plus for these. They do do different styles of buttons and the newer ones have got slightly different tops on them, I think. But uh, overall, it's one of the best button designs I've seen on these, uh, well, out of all the cases. The one thing I will say though is they don't come with um, knob covers. So I've taken some knob or a pot covers from one of my Spiller photo cases because otherwise the potentiometers here are just left exposed, which isn't great. So I wish they had their own kind of hard plastic covers or something that came with this, but you know, whatever. Cost-wise, these come in at about 30 pounds shipped from Russia to the UK. So they're more expensive than the Spiller photo cases. And you know, I mean, it's kind of a toss up. They're both really solid cases, depending on what you want. But if you want the extra screen protection, then these are probably the ones to go for. There's a few things to note about these ones, actually. The first uh, iterations of these, they could be pretty fiddly to put together because you had to get all the buttons and slot them in the right places and the case and all that kind of thing. But now they ship with all the buttons in place and a bit of cardboard behind them. So all you have to do is take it apart, take the card out, making sure the buttons don't drop out and just slot your pocket operator in, which, you know, is much easier than having to do it yourself. The other cool thing about these is that if you have the top hook on or, you know, you want to keep the top hook on your pocket operator, you can do that because of the design. It gives you the ability to just leave the hook in place, which is nice because people, you know, want to keep the top hook and maybe don't want to file down the nubs and all the rest of it. So that's another nice thing about them. One criticism I have of these is that they can get dusty, especially in the older ones, which I think maybe didn't have the side uh, acrylic panels, so I could be wrong. Either way, a lot of them I've seen get quite dusty and you can see the dust because it's transparent acrylic. So even though it's quite a nice case and everything, uh, it does mean that you might have to take it apart to you know dust it every so often. The others don't really have that problem because they're not clear cases, so you can't really see inside. But it's something to note because a bunch of people I've seen using these end up with really grubby looking pocket operators, which isn't the most aesthetically pleasing. But I like this case, it's a good solid case and um, I wouldn't worry about destroying my screen with this one, that is for sure. 
At this point, we come to another uh, 3D printed case. And I don't have a pocket operator in here at the moment because uh, they're all in the much nicer cases I was showing you already and I can't be bothered taking them out. But if you're looking for a really cheap option that gives you some protection and you know from the PCB getting knocked, etc., then there's these cases that are available from someone called, I think they're called, I better check this actually. There's a seller at least in Austria called Perk Flood and they make these and they cost about £16. And they're really basic cases. They've just got a wee basic bit at the back and you connect them up by sliding these bits together, if you can see that. And uh, that's kind of it, really. That's, you know, that's the extent of it. They are good if you just want basic protection. There's no screen protection, obviously, since it's just a hole. The good things about these, though, are that you can retain your top clip again. So if you don't want to snap off the clip, these are a good option because they, you know, remain in place and let you use the clip. Uh, they also let you keep the back clip on. So the wee stand thing that you get, the kind of metal clip with pocket operators, this case lets you, uh, or gives you the ability to keep that on rather than have to take it off for the case, which a lot of the rest of them don't. However, it is one of the most basic options and it is about £16. It's probably the cheapest one, but when you compare it to the Spiller Photo cases, which are the same price without postage or cheaper without postage, then I don't know, I would probably go for a Spiller Photo case over this. Uh, the thing I really don't love about this is the buttons because they're just wee flappy things which is fine because it's a basic case, but it does mean it dulls the tactility and the sensitivity of the buttons, I feel. So it's not my favorite case, but you know, in a pinch it does. If you only have like 15 quid, then yeah, that's another option. Finally, to round things off, I have to include some of the original cases. And these are the official ones from Pocket Operator or from Teenage Engineering, I should say. And again, I don't have anything in them because uh, I've got everything in other cases and I didn't see the point of putting them back into this because it doesn't really show you anything. These are silicon. They're molded to fit the Pocket Operators. There's a few good things about them, I guess, which is they feel quite nice. They have colours that match the actual devices, which might matter to you. I didn't think it would matter to me, but you know, you'd begin to associate the colour, like the purple is arcade and you know, whatever colour is the drum, like green or whatever. And so it can throw you off if you've got like a blue case for the green pocket operator, or maybe that's just me. But uh, that's another, you know, upside to these. They do, they feel good, but there's a lot of downsides to these. They're not particularly robust. All they do is kind of keep it free from dust and scratches, which, you know, is fine, but they don't really offer any protection above that. They're not a hard case. The screen, as you can see, there's no screen protection there. They leave the backside totally exposed. You have to take off the clip at the top to fit it in because the case fits over the top here and clips on the pocket operator at the top. You also have to take off the back clip because of the way this bit clips onto the pocket operator. So you are losing all those wee extra bits and not really gaining any of the advantages of the other hard cases which require you to take the bits and pieces off. The other thing about these that I don't like is you, the, the buttons just don't feel great either and you know you you lose the clickiness of them so they don't really add anything to the function of the device and the leds even though uh, you can't see this here but even though there are holes which are so small that i won't be able to show you there are holes where the leds should shine through uh, it's quite hard to see to be honest and the LEDs are quite important when you're using the pocket operator to know what function you're on and all the rest of it. So I don't I don't love these at all. Another thing about them is they come in at a price of between 20 and 30 pounds. And for 20 and 30 pounds, you could either get one of these from Russia, which has got the screen protection. You can keep the top clip. The buttons are way nicer. Or you could get the POC 60 from Spiller Photo, which is also a really nice case with kind of bigger buttons and you know, it's just a fucking better generally. So unless you really want the originals, 
and that's the only one you can get because they are more widely available, I guess, around the world, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with these at all. I think they're pish. So what's the conclusion? Well, it's difficult to give you a definitive answer because it really depends. They've all got their kind of ups and downs depending on the kind of use case. If all you want is a hard case to travel with your pocket operator in your bag and it not get smashed up and you don't care about you know, using it or you like the feel of the bare pocket operator buttons, get one of these three quid things which lets you store your mobile phone and it not get wet or whatever, you know, easy, get this. If you want a device which is gonna protect your screen, well, not a device, if you want a case which is gonna protect the screen because you're worried about smashing it up, then the no contest, the Russian thing is the best because it's the only one that's commonly available that's got a hard screen protector. And it's also got these nice buttons. If you want the Akai kind of cool design of the MPC, but you don't want to spend a hundred quid, and you, but you still want a decent case, then Spiller Photo is the one to go for, especially because this is one of the cheapest of them all and also one of the best. Finally, if you don't give a shit and you have money coming out your arse, and you want the best, or you want the nicest feeling buttons, then uh, yeah, you get the Beatmaker Boutique. But don't pay 200 quid on eBay for it, because don't give the scalpers the satisfaction. So yeah, that's it. Um, there is no overall winner. There are lots of different options out there, and I guess it really depends on your budget and whatever else the you know the one that you think would be best for your particular situation. I do like the Spiller Photo cases a lot. I have to say, just because I like having lots of different designs, like you know the Commodore sixty four for my arcade, or you know the PO twelve hundred for. I don't know, the office or whatever it is. But, you know, you just have to think about it for yourself. There is another company, or a wee guy, or a wee girl, or, you know, whoever they are in Canada who make nice-looking cases, which are, you know, a bit more basic again, but they let you customise them in lots of cool ways, lots of different button colour choices and stuff like that. And I really like the look of them, and they weren't all that expensive either. They were about 20 something pounds. But unfortunately, they don't ship to the UK or EU at the moment because of postage concerns. So... Yeah, I didn't get a chance to get one and try it out. But if you're in Canada or North America, then you might want to have a look. Uh, I can't remember their name, so I'll leave it down here. So hopefully that was useful. I haven't deliberately left out any case manufacturers or you know people doing cool DIY things because there's loads and loads of cool you know things that people have done with these pocket operators. But these ones are the most commonly available, at least in Europe and probably the US as well, that you know are most, uh, I don't know, abundant. So if you come across any other cool cases, let me know, because as you might be able to tell, I'm a bit of a, a sucker for a nice case. And that's it, you know, enjoy the pocket operating.